Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we're right where we left off. Um, I, I have no words for what happened last episode. Um, I literally just stopped the recording, took a couple seconds, and then started recording again. So it, it's not even that long for me um, in between what just happened. So I'm, yikes is all I could say. Ow. Um, we're really trying to save a lot of people from getting hurt. Still. He very well may. What? What do we have here? A wall? I last saw you in the tunnel. Ah. That was before your army started the burning and pillaging. This slaughter is not my doing. I mean to end this. You have not won yet. Charles is marching toward Paris with his heavy horse. Gods. His army comes. Well, this, they are close and riding hard. All the more reason I must hurry and end this thing. I need a hidden way into Odo's palace. I know a way. But there is a band of Frankish warriors milling about. Show me. Upon my honor, I give you my word that Toker and I, we do not want this. Fine. I will lead the way. All right. So it looks like that smuggler that helped us is going to help us again, try to save everything. Oh, come on. I could have just stayed down. <laughs> Chase them off. We will die if we don't get it. I should be cautious around here. Tunnel around here. Keep searching, men. Hey, hold. God damn you. You're done for. I think you're done for. Hurry now, Evo. Down into the dark we go. Uh, ooh, the queen. Okay. Go ahead and uh, read that if you guys want. you into the palais. Thank you, Norman. And you? I will save what I can with my trade goods and leave through other tunnels. Godspeed ever. A safe journey to you two. A fine haul of Norse war gear and Frankish riches. Looks like Norman smuggled for both sides. Okay, more rats. Stay in there. throw right there. Now to sneak inside Odo's palace. Raven not available. Those fool workers fled. Leaving windows open and scaffolding everywhere. Can't blame them. I should be home, minding my goats. Nothing. Nothing. I 
love how when you come into these areas, they're like, oh, they left scaffolding and all this everywhere. And it's like they leave these little clues for like how the she game is that. designed for you to be oh, able to like sneak in and stuff. Um, it's really well done. It's really organic, right? Versus having here, over here, you know, all the different waypoints. Now that I'm inside the palace, I need to find someone to point me toward Odo. Pardon me, good sirs. Where may I find the Count Odo? Count Odo? Who cares about Count Odo? Where is our good friend Walter de Sans? Oh, why? Who is Walter de Sans? A great warrior? Walter? A warrior? <laughs> no. He is Count Odo's family priest. He's begging Odo to give us more wine. <sighs> we plan to be passed out drunk by the time the Northmen bust into here. Odo's priest might lead me to Odo. Ah. But I need to sneak past these guards to the servant's wing. Come on, let's go drink. Yes, let's have a drink. My, my, no casks here after all. Ooh. It's a little too close. Are you drunk? Uh. Okay, he left. Oh, we can't lure him again. Not fair. Dang. Hmm. Sometimes if you leave the room and then come back in, set that action. Does. Does not. Got it. What if? We just chill here for a second. Okay. Right. Dang, that's messing up, up pretty good. Sit here, hang out, take it nice and slow. This is so intense, you guys. Oh, I, I need that key. I need to grab that key. beyond ner nerve wracking. Okay. Like freaking out. Ah. All right. Odo's wife is wounded and resting in the master bedroom. 
The kitchen may provide some. Odo's priest, Walter, might be in a servant's room. Alright. That one is locked as well. Okay. Really trying to be suspicious. Food for Count Odo. No, this is for Lady Theodorat, his wife. She lies at death's door. And who are you in such garb? A healer from Frisia. What happened to the lady? While helping wounded soldiers off the walls, she took an arrow in the belly. Persuade that worthless priest Walter to give her the last rites if you can. He's just upstairs. I will see what I can do. Thank you. Oh, my lady, why the Count will not attend to you, I will never know. The mother of his children, to think it's so stubborn at Odo. You guys can go ahead and read this if you want. Too drunk to give last rites. A travesty, that one is. Hey. Count Odo. Oh, Odo! His foolish pride will kill us all! Yes, but where is he? Who are you again? No, I can tell you nothing without more wine. Ah, my memory has gone all hazy. Here's your wine. <laughs> I just now happen to have some. Where is Count Odo? Wine? Ah, sweet, precious wine. The water of lies, the blood of Christ, the fiery flame of the world. Red wine, <laughs> nothing more. You may have it. Oh, heaven hears my prayer. Now I can die. Uh, before you do, where is Count Odo? Although I do not know, but his wife lies wounded in their master bedroom. She may have answers. On the second story, along the main hall. Here, take the key. I lock the door. Thanks. We should head to Odo's bedroom. Cool. I feel like this was. Whoa, whoa, hey! No. Oh, let's stay up on here. There we go. Okay. Move around here. That's the wrong key. Uh, all right, let's go back. Getting ready to come. Stop. Uh, 
Yeah, I think that dude down there has the key for this outside. This is intense, sneaking around this building. Is that you, Odo, my love? No, you're too tall. Are you the priest? The light has grown dim. I see nothing but shapes. Father, will you hear my confession? I am not the priest, my ladiness. Just a friend seeking Count Odo, nothing more. Do you know where he is? <coughs> Odo remains locked in his sanctum. His sanctum? Up the landing and across the hall. My husband still hopes Charles will ride forth and save the city. Locked in, you said. There is a key in the bureau. Take it. Help my husband any way you can. Death creeps upon me now. Slow and quiet. Like a shadow at day's end. Eyelids so heavy. Mother, where are you? Farewell, good lady. Wow. So crazy. Gotta go. To that room over there. So I think what we gotta do is when this guy walks around or walks away, we'll have the opportunity to sneak by him. Don't run, don't run. duty as a husband. My duty is here. When Charles and his army arrive, we will join the attack. We will crush the heathens between the hammer of Charles and the anvil of Paris. Leave, Walter. Go comfort my wife as best you can. God, it seems, has chosen a different fate for me. The priest is right. Lay down your arms. Save your city. Among the Northmen, is not death in battle the best way to die? Come, share a glass of wine with a doomed man. I have heard many a warrior cry out for their mothers as their life's blood feeds the ground. I no longer can say if this is the best way to die. Many have died today. Many more will die if we do not end this thing. So crazy. Look at these works of stained glass. Delicate. Priceless. Evro's artisans spend years crafting each piece. Wondrous works. I grant you that. We brought them here for safekeeping. In the hopes that your invading horde won't smash them to pieces. You tell me to surrender my city? Abandon my honor? 
You tell me to live out my days as Siegfried's prisoner? What would you do? I would fight. And someday, I will die with steel in my hand. As I know, it is my doom. But today is not that day. And if I put you on your back, bleeding out and kind for your mother? Are we about to have a boss fight? My mother is already dead. Come, Norton. Bleed from her. And I wish you hadn't, dude. Ooh, yeah. right there or whatever I love that move that move is so sick oh. Ooh. ouch all right quick little dude huh You can get over here. Oh, you yes. Ow. Mm hmm. That's an epic way to end it. Stomp him into the ground. Fine blade for a fine warrior. You fought well, Count Dodo. But not well enough. Give me a quick death. Do not make a spectacle of my defeat. Those are not Siegfried's horns. Shah and his army. He arrives in time to save the city. They do not fight. I see a flag of truce. Siegfried and Charles will hold parley. I must be there. My voice must be heard. As should I. But I am your prisoner. Then I release you on your honor and trust you to keep our truce. Thank you, Eivor. I shall. Dang. Like we were right there. Parley. Lord Siegfried, I offer a gift of silver as a token of the love and friendship between us. Let us have peace. <laughs> silver for a truce. Not a truce, but a lasting bond. I name you my Lord of Rouen, and you bend the knee to your king. I do not kneel to wooden gods, let alone living men. But no matter, let me take counsel. Eivor, thank the gods you live. As do you. Good. I don't trust it. I made it I inside don't. the palace. Odo would have surrendered the city, but... But Charles showed up with his mighty flag of truce. Aye. And you? After we split up, I took my thanes and secured the bastard prince. He's nearby, safe. Eivor! <laughs> the gods do favor the brave, the lucky and the brave. So it is said. And Charles, a little more than that. he offers us a hoard of silver. Ah, indeed. 
And all we have to do is sail away. He brings enough treasure to make every Warthane here wealthy beyond dreams. For those who lived. Gambling our lives for silver, that is our way. Now, do we take his offer? By lock his bloody balls, yes. And call him king if it makes the old troll happy. I've dealt with Charles more than you. He may stab us in the back. Mm -hmm. He can try. He will. And if he tries, I will take his silver. He's that kind of person. Throne. Uncle, we came for wealth him. and peace for our clan. We can't take all of Francia. Deal. We're too few. Charles, we take your gift, and in return, we give you peace. Siegfried. This man, Siegfried, swears to be my loyal friend and protect our lands in Amiens and Rouen. Gosler, Abel, and my wife died defending Paris from these river pirates. And now you offer them the very silver we paid you. To defend us. Are you mad? Wait. We know you are. Let me ask instead. Are you a coward or a fool? Siegfried swears to protect our Dang. lands in the north. If you surrender my birthright, you are no king of mine. Count Odo, I bested you in battle and spared your life. Honor the terms of our truce. This heathen knows more about honor than my king. Today has been a good day, but I tire of long speeches. We will take our silver and go. You Franks may stay and pursue your own quarrels. Wait, a final matter. Eivor of England, bring forth my son, Prince Bernard. Oh my gosh, what do we do? Do we give him the boy? Do we not? Oh. oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. I don't think it's going to matter either way. I cannot hand over the boy to one such as you. He is free to go where he wills. You dare defy me? Do you want battle, King? I will take your silver and your balls. Do not wreck our truce over one small boy. Bernard is not any boy. He is my only son and heir. What? Have you forgotten how to make another? This is not over, Eivor of England. Ah, we have won a great victory. And the great treasure. Come, we feast. I wonder if we made the wrong choice. Tomorrow, the Franks will bury their dead. Thanking their God that they yet live. And they should, for Paris was merely kissed this time. Should we breach those walls again, we will bear our teeth and bite. And should Charles judge it wise to draw swords against us again, let him remember the glint of our axe blades. Let him remember yeah. the red mist on the air, the taste of iron. In 
Enjoy the feast all! A purse full of silver to any who can drink more ale than I! Skull! Yeah, forget what you heard. Just go get drunk. <laughs> Holy wow. All right. So age of Paris and it seems like there's a truce for the time being. Um, except it does seem like we, and should we have, uh, given the boy over to the king. Have you ever seen I, I, something uh, like this? I hate those choices, right? Um, but it's just like the dude's nuts, right? Like it, it's totally better to not hand the kid over. So see what happens. Um, maybe I'll look up, see if what, what happens if you go with the other choice. Um, but oftentimes I find that it doesn't matter what you say. It's just a dialogue thing, but everything plays out. There. Um, let's see what we got these new quests. Um, I thought we were nearing the end of it there. Um, okay. It looks like we have one more. Enjoy the festivities. All right. Let's, uh, you can go celebrate. Go, uh, get drunk over here. And what we got. Okay. There's multiple things to do. Okay. What is this? Racing against picks. <laughs> yes. What is more amusing than watching drunken men race against pigs? <laughs> We've done worse things to entertain ourselves. Would you like to try, Eivor? There is a small price for the winner. Or are you not fast enough? Oh my goodness. Explain the race to me. Run along the lead pathway as fast as that old swine, Thermod. The first to do two laps wins. All right. Where do Let's I start? try it. Let's try it. Why not? Sport, Eivor. You will start here. Run when the pig starts running. To raise the stakes and fun, I will join you too. Ready? Is I'm not ready. Oh, did the chicken slow you down? That's so cheap. This is so cheap. I wasn't sure if I was going the right way or not. Yeah, up here, it's easy to tell where the path is. Oh my goodness. Get out of my feet, chickens. They run with you intentionally, trying to trip you up, man. They're cheating. The animals are in on it together. Dang, I'm like blowing them out of the water here. I'm faster than a pig. Another victory for my saga. Seems your legs were blessed. Uh, Absolutely no ridiculous. The, winner, the joy was in the doing. Indeed. And we sure slice open Frankia's belly this time, eh? Now to feast on her entrails. The winnings are worthy of a serpent's lair. And the roads glistened from the dew of slaughter. Yes. Though, one wonders if such butchery was needed. No lessons today, Eivor. I doubt I will remember them. <laughs> Truly, Toka. Tonight we drink. And tomorrow... Uh, we vomit. <laughs> you are hopeless. That is clear. I took a handsome sword with the fighting. Have it. A keepsake to remember this day by. You honor me. I will cherish the blade. By the way, I was glad you did not turn over Bernard. 
I miss Simric, but a father like Charles is worse than no father at all. I could not doom the boy. And it's not a price I think my clan would have me pay for their safety. Okay. Interesting uh, ring sword. Okay. And then it looks like we have another festivity over here. Oh, we're all partying. I'm getting up on the tables. Here is something even you cheese throwing. The most pungent game of them all. Nastier than Charles himself. Wow. You enjoy this. I Shots fired, the man. Cheese, but who am I to question the games of the people? So, want to toss some cheese? How do okay. I win this game? You need to throw at least two blocks of cheese past the green banner. Quite simple. Oh, and you have three tries to get it done. Will not hurt to try. Should be easy. Do it. Just try Let's not do to it. Hit anyone. Does rolling count? Okay. Rolling count. Oh, that er klæs direktør. Er jeg gæver så hurtigt med det? Oh, er jeg god throw Evor. You only need to do two. Never underestimate the cheese. Did I underestimate the? You definitely earned the prize. So here, some stray silver from the spoils of Paris. You expected a different outcome. I thought you best for rallying a siege and swinging a sharp stick. Was not sure how you would toss some cheese. There's much about very me. Very strange. Know. Oh, pray Back tell. Chin. What else should <laughs> I know? Worry not about what I might teach. <laughs> right. Plenty to celebrate about this night. Don't let me spoil your fun. You won't no go on. there. Something was amiss with Siegfried earlier. A little ale may have lifted his spirits by now. Yeah, let's go talk to Sieg. <laughs> Have a word with our man Siegfried over here. Eivor the talker. Quite a trove of riches, Secret. What were you doing with Count Odo as Charles's army marched on me and my men? I was trying to gain his surrender. What of it? Is it not strange that you met with Odo, Richardis, even Charles himself, and yet all three still walk around with their heads? Everything I've done has been for my clan. It is curious that we must drench our blades in battle sweat to enjoy a night like this. Hmm. We fight because we must. Born in blood, doomed to die. Our threats woven by unseen hands. <laughs> The Frankish blood, the feasting. I still feel nothing. I find no peace in any of it. You avenged your murdered people. You gained glory in their names. Is that why I did what I did? Vengeance and glory. I wonder anymore why any of us do the things we do. Is it Valhalla? Is it clan? Or maybe... We grant ourselves reasons to go from one mead cup to the next. Maybe there are no reasons. And we are no different than wolves. Driven by some inner hunger we can never understand. That may be. But for the sake of our peoples, we must continue to act otherwise. No. I do not believe there is a hall waiting for us. This world is our hall. We get but one. I shall not pretend. Dang. Frankia's cup overflows with lush farmland, fat farmers and fatter purses. All the more for us to drink. 
Tomorrow, we quit this place and head south for greater bounties than even a king can grant. We gave Charles our word. Our word? You are the one who failed to return his son, Bernard. Have you forgotten? That was different. Charles would have... Fuck Charles! We spared Paris today, but tomorrow we march for Burgundy. And after that, all of Francia. I cannot let you do it, Siegfried. Then stop me. Uh-oh. Did it really come to this? Oh man, this cannot be good. Like, are we gonna have to fight him? He's definitely got this like bloodlust thing going. Gang then, wolf kissed. I only ask that you honor your agreement. What does a crow starver like Charles know about honor? I owe him nothing. And he owes me everything. No amount of Frankish blood will bring Sinric or the others back. Some wrongs can never be made right. All this talk of right and wrong, honor, as if we can judge, it has no meaning. Can we explain all the blood on our hands, Eivor? Or are we two jesters on this Frankish stage, awaiting our final performance? Draw your weapon. If you want to find peace, this is not the way. We must build fresh bonds. Look forward to something new. Look forward, look back. It is death in both directions. We are but a morning fog that will inevitably lift. Now answer my challenge or dishonor yourself. Your sorrow will linger if you do not face it directly. My blood. The blood of more Franks will be no solve for your grief. It is as if you speak with Sinric's voice. I have been at sea with no stars to guide by since he died. And if your brother were here, what would be his counsel? To move forward. To live. My time here is over. My kin are dead. The ones who remain must decide what is right for themselves. Let it be Toka's time. What will you do? Leave this place. Ask different questions. Forget everything I know and... and find a new way. Hmm. Not the outcome I was expecting. Siegfried! Like he knows, too. Where is he going? Away. Then I am going with him. No, Toga. Your clan needs you. I wasn't really expecting them to see reason there either. I was expecting to have to fight them. He 
He was not himself since my father died. A solitary man. But never more so than when he stood alone, tasked with rousing our desperate clan. He led well, but all leaders must one day step aside. That, or see others die because they held on to power for too long. When his strong voice echoed in this place, we knew what to do. We had courage, daring. And his fire still burns in your folk. Skull. Skull. I lack a taste for mulled wine. Sometimes a leader must drink the thing they wish not to. I have word from Count Odo. What does he want? An audience with Eivor. It is urgent. He says the Queen may be in peril. My spies confirmed this. Charles has been hunting again for her and the boy. What do you think? Odo would not lie. If he says it's urgent, I must go. I owe the Queen a debt, and I am honor-bound to see this through. Then go. You have fortune's favor, Wolfkist. All right, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and call it there. You guys, holy cow. And these last two episodes, um, I recorded them back to back, um, kind of big epic moment. Um, so we'll go see what, uh, Count Odo wants, Queen, what's going on with her and everything. But, uh, thank you guys so much for everything. I seriously appreciate all of your guys' support. You guys go take care, do everything with all the love of your heart. Stay majestic, because the world depends. I'll see you guys later. Much love. Bye-bye.